So this question says rectangles A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H are similar. So I'm going to start here with the strategy plug-in picture. And I'm going to actually draw two rectangles. Let's start at the top left corner in terms of labeling. So A, B, C, and D. And then E, F, G, H. So in the same order. E starting the same place where I started with A, and then F, G, and H. Again, I like to just put in the things that I know to be true about shapes. Okay, and what else do we know? The length of each side of E, F, G, H is six times the length of the corresponding side of A, B, C, D. Okay, so then if I call this size, the length of this side, x, that would make this x as well. But that would make this 6x over here. And if I call this y, that would make this y as well. But that would make it 6y over here. Okay. The area of A, B, C, D is 54 square units. How do I find the area of a rectangle? I just multiply the length times the width, in this case x times y or y times x. So for us, we're going to say that x, y is equal to 54. Okay. What is the area in square units of EFGH? Well, how would I find the area of EFGH? I find the area by multiplying the length time with there, which would be like a 6x times 6y. That's how I'd find the area. When I simplify that, I get 36xy. Now, because I know that xy is 54, right? xy is 54, then I know the area for the rectangle EFGH should be 36 times 54. So I just go to my calculator and type in 36 times 54. And I get 1,944. So there's my answer, choice D.